Hello, this is Tport Guides, and this is our first lecture on uh, Java. And uh, this lecture focuses on packages. For us to understand packages, we need to first uh, look at package design and talk about it. And then also, we need to look at package and import statements. Okay, so what are packages? Well, packages are nothing other than an approach used by programmers and developers to organize related classes uh, and interfaces together. They also uh, help us avoid class and interface naming collisions. An example of how this works is that, for example, if I was a uh, big programmer with lots of um, people working with me, and if we was uh, to say, okay, we're going to go and develop a software now, and um, I want you to do this, I want you to do this, and I'm going to do this. And uh, we go and develop this software and come to bring our developed parts to integrate it together to have the full package. But when we come to that point, we may come to realize that we may have classes with the same name. And this could be a problem because... Uh, for example, with your folders that you make on your desktop and all that, you can't have files with the same name. So this is the same um, case with Java files as well. It, it would cause you a problem if you try and have classes with the same name in the same directory. So the way we try and solve this is by using packages and giving these packages different names and placing these classes with the same name into these different packages and this helps us solve uh, this problem and also uh, packages help us to promote code reuse for example if we uh, produce lots of packages with different functionalities uh, for example one of the packages focuses on printing something then uh, we could use this package within our source file without actually um, writing too much code we could use that package to print something uh, also um, packages help us maintain uh, developed applications what we, we mean by that is um, if we uh, make packages that that, that are focused in diff for focused on different parts of the application and if we need to make a change we could go to this uh, a special package that does what needs to be changed and we can change it there instead of going through the whole uh, application and looking for the code that we need to actually change we could which could be time consuming okay now we're going to talk about package uh, what we need to consider when we make packages first of all package size uh, we need to think about this and we need to know that larger packages sport reusability whereas smaller packages support maintainability and uh, also we need to consider maintainability and this is like what I said before uh, when a software change occurs we could limit these software changes um, to a single package uh, when the package um, focuses or is it houses uh, focused functionality also um, naming our packages we need to consider using a uh, reverse domain name for our package structures and also we need to use lowercase characters delimited with underscore to separate words in the package names which is really important uh, because it helps um, programmers and us um, identify um, our packages and what they're actually used for and what they are okay uh, package statements now we're going to talk about package statements and then we would move on to import statements um, package statements um, we, we put package statements at the beginning of our source file and each source file could have none or it could have one so you can't have more than one uh, package statements within your source file um, also package names equal to directory structures for example uh, com.tportguides.help would be the same as uh, directory com forward slash tportguides.help also package names beginning with java and uh, java x we need to know that these are reserved by 
Java Soft, which is the business unit of Sun uh, Microsystems, which is responsible for the Java technologies. Package names should be lowercase. Individual words within the package name should be separated by underscores. And also, um, here is a uh, valid. Uh, here is valid examples of package statements. So you could have a package, then package name with an underscore, uh, then name of uh, the curry non name. Uh, also, you could have something like package, then uh, Java dot net, which is your package name. You could also uh, be more specific and write com dot guide dot help, which would uh, clearly go to your um, package this which is a longer form of a package name um, now let's talk about import statements uh, these import statements we uh, uh, use them to include source code from other classes within other packages into our source file at compile time uh, import statements include the keyword uh, import followed by the package path the uh, limited with periods and ending with a class name or an asterisk uh, we play we place import statements after the optional package name and before the class definition that's really important otherwise you may get lots of errors um, also each import statement can only relate to one package statement also I've given you guys a um, few examples of import statements so the first one import java.net this imports all classes from the java.net package then we've got um, import java.net.url this imports only uh, URL class from the Java uh, from the package java.net also we could add a st uh, statistic statistic um, uh, word to our import as well and what this would do is import all static members of the color class of the color color package java.awt also um, when uh, we're importing um, classes we need to also remember and try to explicitly import these classes um, because this would allow other programs to quickly determine which external classes are used throughout your source file and also um, uh, for example for example if you're using one class only from a package rather than importing all the classes from that uh, package you could do import dot um, the package uh, dot the class and then um, you'll just import that class that you need okay guys uh, the next part of this video would be for us to have a look at few codes and uh, maybe just play around with these codes um, the codes would be uh, focusing on import statements and package statements um, so join me on part two and also please subscribe to my channel to just show a bit of sport